Hi guys, I'm out on a rural property here at Maruta in uh, Western Sydney and I scored something on eBay just here to pick it up and I thought that's pretty much all they had but uh, which is it's pretty good in its own right. I was very impressed to get this but check out what else is in here. Wow! You will love this guys. Yep, <laughs> you're right. You will love this. They're ripping it all apart but uh, this was all owned by a guy named David Sparks and uh, the, I tried to get all uh, silicon chip magazines and things like that but uh, they're, oh they're EA, I didn't know they had EA archives. Anyway I tried to get a silicon chip one but look what I scored. This is, this is what I've got, all these tins. All of these tins full of everything and you're not going to believe what I got them for. 30 bucks for all these tins all labelled. Look, collar clamps, all sorts of screws, uh, support hinges, all sorts of stuff. And so yeah, it's just like absolutely crazy what I got. So this guy was absolutely meticulous in how he sorted um, stuff, nuts and bolts, E-types, plain washers, all sorts of, and all sorts of screws. So fantastic. And everything in here is, is going. They haven't listed everything yet, but what I really want to show you is in here. This is got to be the ultimate electronics home workshop. Look at this. Look, pots. All these pots, caps, all sorted. Wow, how much time and effort went into this. Like there's all these are capacitors. I haven't looked at all this yet. All these are capacitors, all these are capacitors, potentiometers, resistors, 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 trimmers. Oh, look at all this. I mean, this is just crazy. Like real old school. Trimmers, unbelievable. What the hell was this guy into? And there's more. What do we got? We got switches. We got micro switches. Look at this. Crazy. Well, we got tube sockets. Well, we got connectors. Battery connectors. Like, just crazy. Wow. Wow. We got some real old school, but all tons of switches. Look at this, tube sockets, connectors, connectors. So real old school stuff, obviously into uh, vintage repair and uh, things like that. But then we've got headers and stuff like that. Absolutely incredible. And then, look, are these all tubes? Unbe oh, Mullard, Phillips, all, all tubes. Look at this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And more connectors. Crazy. Have you ever seen a more sorted collection of this? Like, uh, this is like old school electronics store. And this is in this guy's own home workshop. Wow. Look at this. Resistor networks. Crazy. Inductors. Inductors, transformers, more caps. There's more caps than you can poke a stick at. Unbelievable. So, <laughs> ceramic. Look at all those ceramic caps. Wow. I mean, and they want to get rid of all this stuff too. They have no idea what to do with it, and I'm not surprised. So, <laughs> um, they're happy to take offers on all this stuff. So, relays, electromechanical, or hundreds of different, or dozens, at least dozens of different types of relays. Crystals, inductors, crystal filters. Look at that. Wow, oscillators, delay lines, display modules, VFD display modules, crystals and filters, indicators and lamps, resistor networks, fuses and breakers. Wow. And that's just that wall there. And it looks like we've got more uh, tubes and stuff. All your old school guys. Transistors. Bipolar. There we go. Look at that. 
TT series. Wow, separating into all the series. 2SC 1800s to 2SC 1900s. Wow, 2 n 3055 5s This is the mother load. It really is. I've never seen a collection like this. It's just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Small signal MOSFETs. Like, each individually bagged. Look at this. Dual gain end channel MOSFETs. Wow. Got to be kidding me. Chips. 7900 <laughs> series CMOS. Micro memory control, display controllers, read amplifiers. What? 4000 series. TDA or linear series. Look. TDA audio amps, bipolar logic, all your 74 series stuff. Wow. Just like I, I'm stunned. Like I have never seen a collection like this. This is in his home, like his back workshop. Like what was this guy into? Where did he get all these parts from? Maybe he bought out an old electronics shop or he used to have one. Um, yeah, his name was David Sparks. I, it rings a bell. I'm not sure why, but... Hallelujah! <laughs> this is just ridiculous. And they haven't listed this stuff yet. They have not listed it. So it's like, like kind of like make an offer kind of thing. It's just... Oh. What do you do? How much would you offer for something like this? I got no idea. What's in these? Like rotary wafer switches. <laughs> I mean, like where would you even store all this stuff? It's just, wow. Has anyone ever seen a bigger or better collection than this? Uh, or better sorted or any, guarantee you haven't. This is insane. Wow. And, oh, there's more stuff. Hang on. Almost forgot about this. Look at this. This is his uh, test gear room where he did stuff. And apparently, um, ultraviolet lights, apparently. So, yeah, look. <laughs> He's got ultraviolet lights in here. There we go. There we go. Switched them all <laughs> That's just, it's, hang on, let me see if I can get all this back on. There we go. We're, we're back on. But check it out. All this old school type, oh, 561, Tektronix, 564, 545. God, was obviously collected. Ugh, something's gone horribly wrong on that uh, 475. Transistor curve tracer. Look at this, a 576 curve tracer. They're pretty rare here in Australia. They're, uh, you don't get too many of those. Wow. PCM test set, old school, don't know what's in there, hmm, I haven't even heard of that company, wow, so and Aaron, <laughs> BS601, old school stuff, Whew. analog meter, and uh, yeah, so he's had a, this is obviously where he did a fair bit of work, and I think he's like going overseas or something, I don't know, they hired, um, somebody um to sell all this stuff on ebay like w one of these professional um companies who uh, who sell it so who sell gear wow i don't even want to know what's behind there well yes i do <laughs> it's unbelievable anyway guys that is the mother load that is the best workshop collection of electronic parts i have ever seen in my entire life please if anyone can beat it <laughs> post photos or videos or whatever down below i don't think you can this is insane anyway i am very happy about the um nuts and bolts thing i set up so i'll do uh, some video when i have that uh back i'll um set those up in the bunker or something like that but and check this out we found this in a box it looks like my first guess would be a mercury Rectifier. Um, can anyone confirm? Look at that. Wow. Engel and Gibbs. And check these out. Looks like we have some old uh, CRT tubes. Probably uh, tech. 
I'd say, I don't know what that is, early, late? No idea what that's from, that's from some other weird bit of gear, but yeah, a whole bunch of scope tubes. And all these valves in here, these are all, uh, all original, Mullard, Phillips, look at milliwatts, and uh, they're, well, all the ones in the coloured ones, they're all original, and uh, all the ones in the whites, they're all refurbished, like, you know, uh, generic brand ones or something like that. So, and apparently, he's got all of these parts, all of them, in a spreadsheet. A huge master spreadsheet, knows exactly, you can see they're numbered, knows exactly what's where. And, uh, yeah, it's just... <laughs> Have you ever seen anything better organised than this? Unbelievable. Where the guy got all this gear from, I have no idea. Oh, look at this. Enamel wire, cable markers, <laughs> sleeving, <laughs> heat sinks. Hey, heat sinks. Look at that. Man, he's just like salvaged. He must have got these salvaged out of gear. He must have ferrites, input, IF transformers, rotary wafer switches, ah, massive inductors. Look at that. He's, you know, I, I thought like he must have like bought out a shop or something like that or had a shop to get all these parts and individually bagged. Like each one is individually handwritten and bagged with all the same, they must have all been done at, you know, uh, like they couldn't have been done years apart because all the labels and everything else, they're, uh, they're all totally consistent, totally consistent. And like every one of them is like chock-a-block with parts and stuff it's just ah oh, it, it's mental absolutely mental the really amazing thing about all these parts they are all second hand they've all been actually those, those ones might have been somewhat new but they've all been desoldered in fact that was the only one i found new these are all desoldered parts all of them everything in here has been just desoldered like seven four double o's look look there we go have you know everything has been desoldered and that's the absolutely amazing thing about all this they're all i mean he's got some sort of uh, packets of new stuff and he's labeled on some of them if they're new but um otherwise they're yeah all just salvage parts unbelievable must have spent his entire life just desoldering parts. Absolutely ridiculous. And check it out, look, just like packets of diodes. Just desoldered diodes. Unbelievable. And look, just all individually wrapped and individually bagged and labelled. Everything desoldered. It's just absolutely crazy. Wow, and it's all through hole. I haven't found any surface mount parts here yet at all. It's just all old school. And there's all magazines, books, server racks, all that sort of thing, but oh, I'll just leave you with that shot. Look at that. Catch you next time. And check it out. I managed to transport them all back to the bunker in, I think, one piece maybe the odd tin has fallen down at the back there but and just a quick follow-up to that video sorry about the video uh, quality i think i might have had my uh camera set to the wrong uh setting i wasn't expecting to go out there and uh, shoot any footage so i just uh got what i got and i actually ran out of memory card there so yeah sorry about that but anyway i hope you got a good idea of what that collection was like it was insane the first time I saw it, wow, this is like uh, the holy grail. You know, it was like walking into a mouse or a DigiKey warehouse. It was absolutely incredible. But the more I looked at it and the more I thought about it, looked uh, off camera, looked through some stuff, it was all... Oh, uh, it was all through hole stuff. There was I couldn't find any surface mount stuff at all. I didn't uh, search every drawer, but it looks like it was all pretty much. I hate to use the word obsolete, but it was pretty much all uh, through hole parts. And most amazing of all, it was all the vast majority of it was like desoldered, salvaged parts. I this David Sparks guy. My hat off to him, absolutely. He must have sat there thousands and thousands of hours of desoldering 
parts and and individually bagging each one. If it wasn't enough that they were all, uh, you know, use those um, uh, takeaway containers to store each one inside each one of those, almost without exception, they were all the parts were individually bagged as well in little tiny Ziploc bags and all itemized with their value and part number and everything else. I mean, there were. I don't know, you know, a thousand plus takeaway storage containers, and then each one of those had, you know, could have up to a dozen bags in them, all individually categorized. Wow! And it's just a, a shame that it wasn't all sort of uh, new parts. If it was new parts, it'd be worth an absolute fortune if it had all, you know, modern SMD uh, stuff and things like that. But that's obviously what this uh, guy was into. He was into, you know, uh, vintage um, stuff and, and salvaging parts. And anyway, I was absolutely blown away by that. I have never seen or heard of a better personal collection than that. Maybe there might be ones bigger, but I doubt there's anyone that is more pers uh, perfectly organized and categorized than that. It was just stunning. Anyway, I did get some um, uh, photos of almost all of the drawers and things like that. So if you're curious to see exactly what was on the labels, hopefully I haven't reviewed them. I think I got them all in focus as opposed to the video. Anyway, they'll be linked in down below on uh, eevblog.com. So check them out. But there you go, if you know of a bigger or better personal lab component collection than that one, leave it in the comments. I think people will be struggling too. I'm going to claim that is one of the world's biggest and most impressive collections, at least of salvage components. Wow. Catch you next time.